What's up everyone, I'm Joshua Weissman and these are my favorite snacks. That was not my best catch. So these are kettle cooked potato chips, salt and pepper. It's Old Faithful. Oh, the bags are always bad. I go for kettle cooked for two reasons. A, the crunch is always better. I don't really like Lay's potato chips that much that immediately dissolves on your tongue. This has texture. This is like an explosion in your mouth. They're good no matter how you serve them, by themselves, with a burger, doesn't matter. They're just good. Oh yeah. Wow. I bet a lot of people didn't expect this from me. I already know that the comments are gonna be judging me right now. Josh, you consider yourself a professional and you're gonna eat Cheetos? Get out of here, I don't think I can respect you anymore. You need to be real with yourself sometimes, okay? These are my mom's favorite snack. How could I not like these and include this on this list? The actual flavor of a Cheeto is so nice, and guess what? It has MSG in it, and you all know how I feel about MSG. It's one of the greatest seasonings of all time. The cheese flavor profile, although it doesn't taste real, it's just good. I don't know why, it just is, and it's probably because of the MSG, isn't it? It has like a deep crunch and then it dissolves. It doesn't just fall apart in your mouth, it has texture. So all in all, good snack. Is it my favorite of all time? No, but my mom loves them and so it has a place in my heart. So next up we have Thai tea boba. Does this count as a snack? I don't know. But yeah, yeah it does actually, because you get to chew on it. First off, that's the best part right there the stab. I include this as a favorite snack because it is good any time of the day. Lunchtime, after lunch, after dinner, you know, you're sitting, you're watching a movie, you're like, I don't really want popcorn. I don't really want a bunch of sugary snacks, but you know what? I do want this incredibly odd creation that is somehow so, so good. You have a textural wonderland of chew below in the form of balls. So that's always great. The thing that I love the most is the juxtaposition of like that chew, that starch mixed with the creaminess of the milk tea. So pick your own tea, but this is my personal choice, my personal favorite. Oh yeah. Here we go, now we're in the candy land. Let's talk about peanut M&Ms. This is clearly the superior M&M, can we not agree with that? A traditional M&M is good and all. After five M&Ms, you're like, I'm done. This is just like for children. I don't want this like grotesquely sweet milk chocolate, but you know what helps break that up? A nice salty peanut right in the middle. All of a sudden it's perfectly balanced. <laughs> like everything should be. I feel like Thanos right now, but with peanut M&Ms. Nothing but crunch. They are way too addictive. They are way too good. One of my favorite candies of all time. I know I'm gonna get roasted for it, but that is what it is. This is another childhood favorite. I'm not even sure if anyone even knows what these are. These have to be the thing that just line the shelves that everyone walks past. This is a chocolate hazelnut pirouette. And I used to love them as a kid, although I haven't had one in probably about five years. So we're gonna find out right now whether or not I even like it. <laughs> Maybe my palate is enhanced. Oh, they pack these differently. It is a wafer that is stuffed with chocolate hazelnut paste. Pretty basic. These are a perfectly bingeable food. It somehow, tastes good and tastes better the more that you eat it, and it doesn't take up any space in your stomach. Oh. Not everybody knows what these are. Nori Maki. Little nori candies. They're slightly savory, slightly sweet. This is a more recent discovery for me. And now I have 15 bags of them in my pantry, and they stay stocked. I stay strapped, if you will. This is another perfectly bingeable snack. I'd rather have this over a bowl of popcorn when watching a movie. That's how good they are. It's like a little firecracker of umami in your mouth. If you're a sushi person and you've never had this before, you might just be missing out on one of the greatest snacks of your entire life. Oh, this is a finale. Yes, these. Ooh. I feel bad because I, I have the most energy for this, but I love Takis. My mouth is already watering so much. A Taki is basically just a tortilla chip and they're wrapped like this. It's like a little joint of flavor. It's kid friendly, don't tell them it looks like a joint. Don't give it to your kid and be like, this looks like a joint. As soon as I eat this, my mouth is gonna be an ocean. So here we go. God, they're so good. This is a perfect snack. The crunch is always good. I never run across a soggy taki. Soggy taki. It is spicy, salty, acidic, 
It's got the umami, it has everything. One could argue that this is just as good as a perfectly balanced bowl of Tom Kagai. And the reason why I bring up Tom Kagai is because it's a soup that's supposed to be highly balanced. It's sweet, it's salty, it's spicy, and well, sour at the same time. It has all of those elements. That is the Taki. I'm telling you, a chef had to have made this. A culinarian had to have made this. It's too perfect. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this uh, list of snacks was to your liking. Don't forget to get my book if you haven't, all right? I just released a cookbook. It's nine times New York Times bestseller, all right? I'm flexing it. I'm flexing it. We worked hard on it. It took a lot of people to make it. So be sure to go check it out. But nonetheless, enjoy your day and go get a good god dang snack, okay?